Good morning. Today we're going to do a brief overview of how to get linked to Learning Ally. So Learning Ally is the human voiced um, accessible print that we have been using with our students that have identified reading disabilities. This gives them access to their textbooks as well as books in the library and other sources of print through their digital devices like a Chromebook, a Mac, a PC, uh, Android, or an iPhone. So it really goes across platforms. But today we're going to look at how to do this on a Chromebook. So when we look at our Chromebook, the first thing that we need to notice is that whether or not they have the um, app already installed. And the way that you can tell is to go over to the circle in the lower left corner, which is identified as the launcher, and click on that. And if you see Learning Ally audiobooks there, that means that the app has been loaded. We have attempted to load it on all the devices throughout the school district so that the student can then log in through the app. The way that they would do that, should this app be already there, is they would click on the icon, which is this blue box with the, the parentheses looking things, um, and they would log in. I'm sorry, I'm logged in already on my training file, so let me log out of that. So this is what it would look like when you bring it up and the student would type in their username and password. In Tomball, our username is the student's first name followed by their ID number. And yes, there is a capital at the beginning of your name. And then the password is Tomball 2019. So that's Tomball with a capital T 2019. But if you did not see the app on your device and you were wanting to um, put it on your device, then what you would do is go to learningally.org in your browser, and there you would log in. So I'm going to log out because I was already in there. And let's log in, and I'm going to use my trainer profile, so I will have the screen of a student. And... Type in my password, and here I am with my f account. So I can click on my bookshelf, and when you click on my bookshelf, the books that have been assigned to you would show up here in your um, device. And should you want to read one of those books, and you did not have the app on your device, you would click over on this. See where it says my listening device? You would go to switch to another device. And when you click on that, you get the option of identifying what device you're on. And in this case, we're talking about Chromebooks. So if we go to a PC, Mac, or Chromebook, this is where we would go and click continue. Um, and then download it from the Chrome Web Store. Of course, if you're on a PC or on a Mac, you would choose those. Um, then you would just follow the instructions and it would install on your device. And then you would find it in the launcher and you would go ahead and log in the way that we did when I first started this video. So I'm going to log out of the web page. And I'm going to minimize that and we're going to go back to the app and we would log in here and then we would be able to read. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Um, I forgot to put my capital T. For some reason, sometimes it matters and sometimes it doesn't. So it's easier just to go ahead and do it correctly the first time. And now I have all my books, so I can just open up a book. Let's do Lifeboat. So you can see it's it's downloading it into the device.
and now it's ready to read and I can click on it and go from there. So that is how you can do it. Good luck and please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or if something goes awry. <laughs>